What's good, YouTube? The black community is so fucking lost. It's um, it's just crazy. I'm talking uh, specifically about the senseless murder, the shooting of um, West Coast rapper Nipsey Hussle. And, um, you know, as someone that grew up loving hip hop, uh, and I'm taking it back from the very, very beginning. I remember I was in Miami, Florida, and I was like seven, about eight years old when I first heard um, Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight, and I was hooked. I guess uh, instead of saying love at first sight, you can you can call it a love at first sound. It's just totally hooked on it. And, um, you know, what's crazy is, uh, and some of you may know about, obviously, the Nipsey Hussle uh, being killed outside of his store in uh, Crenshaw, uh, Los Angeles, California area. What's crazy is I remember uh, when Tupac, you know, uh, was murdered in a drive-by there. Um, I remember Biggie, right? And, um, you know, these artists that, you know, affect and touch uh, the lives of millions, millions um, of people throughout the world. Um... And now to see like a different generation, you know, um, even though it's a new crowd and even though I'm old school and I, I don't really care a lot about the new, uh, the way rap has gone, right? The way the industry has uh, changed so much and um, the way that, um, you know, rap has lost, in my opinion, um, it's potential, it's full potential. And I'm talking about, I admired groups like Public Enemy, you know, songs like Fight the Power, right? That called for social change, that called for social justice, that called for, um, you know, that denounced issues like police abuse and, you know, that was just hard, powerful music with such a strong voice. And a lot of that has been replaced with, uh, you know, misogynistic, misogynism, you know what I mean? Um, misogynistic lyrics, uh, every other rap song and every other mumble rapper is the word that's used, uh, the phrase to uh, describe the new wave, you know what I mean? And I'm not saying that there's no talent because there are a lot of talented new rappers. I don't want to sound like an old fogey. But at the same time, my point is that, um, you know, back to this about Nipsey Hussle, to see a new generation of artists, you know, and um, and to see how their uh, murders, just like, uh, you know, not long ago, XXX Tentacion, a very young rapper, young man, very, very talented, huge following across the world. And... Um, you know, his life was uh, was also taken, you know, at a Florida uh, motorcycle dealership as he was pulling out in his car. You know, gunmen uh, executed him. So where am I going with this? Well, a lot of you, you know, have probably seen that I've been very, very outspoken um, when it comes to... Uh, denouncing the hypocrisy of so-called movements like Black Lives Matter, right? Um, and I say hypocrisy because, again, they have no issue whatsoever uh, protesting, doing demonstrations, doing marches, hitting the streets, right? Whenever a cop takes an innocent black life, as they should, as they should protest and march and, um, you know, rally and hit the streets and denounce, call for justice. Absolutely. But the hypocrisy is so blatant 
and so um, disgusting because it's clear that groups like and movements, so-called movements, so-called groups like Black Lives Matter, clearly have an agenda. Uh, in other words, when you break down the very name of the group, Black Lives Matter, then why, you know, is it why why is it that the lives only seem to matter according to these groups and the name of the groups and the movements, so-called movements, when it's a cop taking an innocent black life? OK, where are the protests? I've made videos recently uh, here in Rochester. Where are the protests uh, when a young man here in Rochester was uh, killed and then his shot and killed and then his in his uh, in his recording studio? near his recording studio here in, in near downtown Rochester, and then his body was driven 90 miles um, east of Rochester to Syracuse, New York, and then, you know, thrown in an abandoned house. No protest. Zero. Nada. Ni carajo. Ni cojones, like we say in Spanish. Nothing. Um, but yet, you know, let a cop put his hands on a black person or take an innocent life. And again, as they sh as there should be outrage. But you see all these so-called movements and groups, you know, um, protesting. Where, where are these groups for these innocent young lives taken? Um, at the hands of other uh, black folks. Okay? Look at Chicago. You know, look at toddlers can't even sit in their mother's, uh, in their family's vehicles without being shot in drive-bys, right? Black on black crime. And I know so many people get pissed off even at that phrase, black and black crime. That's not accurate. It absolutely is accurate. Just look at Chicago. And my thing is this, um, where are the protests, where, where... I see the vigils, I see all the candles, I see all the flowers, I see all the balloons, that's all good. And that is very important because that is a way for people to grieve and to um, pay their respects to um, such a talented young man, Nipsey Hussle, right? Rest in peace. But there needs to be more than that, you know what I mean? Where are the protests and where are specifically these groups who have been... In the past, whenever a cop takes an innocent black life, they have been very visible, especially on the West Coast area, uh, side, California area. Where are they now? Where are these groups like Black Lives Matter? Where are the protests? Where are the marches? Where are the so-called leaders of these so-called groups and movements like so-called movements like Black Lives Matter denouncing the senseless violence the senseless killing, the senseless taking, stealing of a black life like Nipsey Hussle, who was shot right in his own community, right in his own neighborhood, right in front of his own business. A talented young man who came from the streets and was doing positive things and bringing businesses to his own community. Where are the protests? Where are these groups? Where are these so-called movements and why aren't they visible? Why aren't they uh, uh, vocal? Why aren't they coming out and denouncing the senseless, um, you know, killings, taking, stealing of black lives at the hands of other black folks? Why? And that is why I say it is just a blatant, disgusting hypocrisy. Peace.